Hello darlings, it's Showbiz and welcome to my new online show, The Showbiz Show, where each week we feature celebrity gossip. And show this is kind of people where every week we travel around the country to find the weird, the wacky and the talented. Exclusive celebrity interviews. Make sure you tune in. Cheers! Well, it's all about babies at the moment. What with Howard Donald and his new baby and also Cheryl Cole and Beyonce with the famous bump. I'm now joined with another very famous mum, the one and only celebrity big brothers, Stephanie Davis. Can we, can we have a showbiz kiss please, darling? <laughs> mwah, mwah. You know how to do oh, yes. it. Stephanie, thank you very much for coming to the showbiz show today. Thank you. I have to say, for someone that's, that just recently has given birth, you do look quite ravishing. Do I? Oh, you do. Oh, thank you. And that's from me. <laughs> So how is it being being a mother? Yeah, no, it's and... good. It's just getting used to like, it's just crazy. It's like this little person just slowly relies on you and then it's mad because I can't even remember my life before he was there now. And I you... love being a mum, it's amazing. Really? Yeah, I do, honestly I do. Really like her, tell me about that. So what's your involvement with that? Well, I was just thinking and decided to kind of go down this route because a lot of celebrities, I think, put pressure on themselves to lose weight and, and they do drastic things like getting surgery and stuff like that. and. I'm not down for that, you know, and I do, I am proud of my body because I created like this little human and gave birth to him and like you all. You never know, you look but fantastic. You know, oh, thank no, you, you look fantastic. I just didn't want to um, do anything like that and honestly I'm only doing this for me, me and me only, just to feel like a bit more confident in myself. So I've always been small, small. in height and, yeah. Um, yeah. and like yeah. six to eight yeah. and then I suddenly went pregnant to like a 12, 14. Was that then, hard for you? No, it wasn't because it was mainly like mostly around the bum, yeah. you know what I mean? Like pants and, and top and that was fine. But I just, like, sun was coming up and I'm still only young and uh, I've got life in me yet. And I just thought I'd get so, back to feeling good again. It's non invasive. It's literally, you lie there. It's lovely. Like, 10 minutes to myself, nice little massage, nice and warm. I fell asleep last time. It's lovely. Really? Mm -hmm. So it's relaxing and it really does 3D, 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 3D lipo really does do things. So I'm actually hearing quite good things about it. No, but it's good. It like breaks down the fat cells and tightens it and it's like, you don't have to go to the gym. Now you're known from Hollyoaks, Hollyoaks and Celebrity Big Brother um, and now you're the most talked about girl in the country. How does it feel about that? I don't think, I don't know, it's changed me in, in different ways. It's not changed me in the way as in, I'd ever be big head or anything like that. No. Like my family's always said, you know, treat people like you want to be treated, keep grounded. And yeah. I hate all that type of the, I, it, it disgusts me. Like I hate the whole people sat outside your house and all stuff like that. I don't like that side of it. Um, obviously, I, I was known for my acting first and I think that got a bit lost with everything. Yeah. So yeah. I wanted to get back into my acting, but it's just kind of something, because I was a young age getting into that type of showbiz world. It's all I've ever grown up knowing. So, will we see you again in another soap opera? Or is soap opera something that you've done and then you want to move away from? I've been recording my music, so I've been doing that. <clears throat> and then I've been, it's kind of because I've become a mum now, I've been doing different things, like I'm bringing out my baby from range yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. And but I've got you, my book coming out. But you want to work. Do you, you and like I want to get working. back into my work work. So I want to get back into my dramas. I love the type of thing like Our Girl or a Jimmy McGovern type, you know, them gritty dramas. I love stuff like that. Corey? You never say never. Strictly? Could you see yourself in Strictly? No, that's yeah. what I want to do. Yeah, get me on that ballroom dance floor and do something that is what I am. That's, that's what I've done, you know what I mean? Like, all my life. So I can't, that'd be nice to get back dancing again and show people, you know, how I actually can dance quite all right. Well, Stephanie Davis, we might be seeing you in Strictly this year. Who knows what might happen? Hopefully we'll see Stephanie Davis in Strictly. So by day you're a mum, you know, Baby, feeding the baby, cleaning the baby, etc. But you're also writing a book. Yes, that's out on June the 29th. What's it called? Yeah, it's called Sincere. 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 Great. It's, it's honest, it's brutally honest. About Your life? My life, about growing up in the showbiz world and all, you know, because everyone thinks, oh, showbiz, it's amazing. And they don't never see that dark side. To Darling, it. don't even just t no. don't tell me. You know, everyone I've lived wants, and breathed it all my life. Yeah, everyone wants to be famous, but then when they get it, it's like you wish you could just go. Because yeah, when you're in Celebrity Big Brother, they made you out to be a bit of a, a bit of a horror, really, didn't they? Well, they did with me, but they, you know. 
but you're actually quite nice, you're real. I feel like everyone's got a bit lost in the whole, they've kind of categorised me as this um, reality. reality TV star, and that's not me, and it never has been, and I've worked goddamn hard since I was younger, all the shows and the graft, and I've done an auditions and everything, you know, I've, I've been so determined, and, and I feel like people might have lost that a little bit, so it's just to remind everyone what I actually have done. What you're doing, And yeah. that I, I am an actress, and, and, and I love singing and acting and dancing and musical theatre, and... and and just to give people a better insight. I think I think when people read the book, because I think a lot of people have got an opinion on me whether they like me or they don't like Marmite, I think once they've read the book, some of the things they have seen, they'll understand my actions for that. Yeah. They're like, oh, I get it. Yeah. And the showbiz show, we like to do a thing called the showbiz challenge step. Yeah. You see, who's more showbiz than either me or you? Me, so, oh, of course, darling. <laughs> so, so as you know, I'm best known as showbiz, <laughs> um, and I like to grill my guests on the showbiz show. So here's some quick questions for you, Stephanie Davis. Oh God. Right, are you ready? Who is the most famous person in your phone book? Ah, uh, um, Niall Warren. What's your claim to fame? My claim to fame, what is my claim to fame? Um, I danced with Nigel Harmon and Brian Cox, the sex bomb on the dance floor when I was younger and I really fancied Nigel Harmon. Fabulous. If an actress played you in a movie, who would it be? Oh. Um, Brittany May, but she's not here anymore. Okay, that's, I'll do that. Um, what's the most showbiz thing that you've ever done? Well, I did just arrive here on a motorbike, but other than that, I was supposed to be back in work filming, and I, just, I was in Las Vegas, and I decided to stay for another, like, 24 oh, hours. And I went straight back into work. What's your best showbiz quality, apart from looking ravishing? Oh, I don't know. Um, what would you say? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, down to earth. Um, I don't know. Glamorous, nice eyes. Oh, thank uh, you, Just everything. You you thank you very good. much. Um, you are a singer. Um, I can sing too. Give us a quick <laughs> sing. Give us a quick. Um, 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 what can I say? Um, anything you can do, I can do better. I, I can, can do, do anything, anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I think she's more showbiz. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> it wasn't. It was good. Um, if you're in a musical, any musical in the world, Steph, and you had the chance to play the leading lady. What leading lady and what musical would it be? Me, me and Red the Musical, oh. favourite musical, and I love it. Let's go out oh, yeah. tonight. tonight. We could it. do our own show, we could. I mean, it's, it. It, it, it's the new thing. Right, um, if you could date any Hollywood star, <laughs> this is a good one, who would it be? Oh, Bradley Cooper. Oh yeah, he's hot. He's hot. He is with, hot. With a slash of Justin Bieber and Leonardo DiCaprio all in one. Oh yes, absolutely. Mix Leonardo, I could, Bradley I could, Cooper I and mix Justin. them all in one, yes, definitely. And would you ever move to LA? Yeah. You would? Yeah. You would? Oh, yeah. fabulous. Yeah. And that's the end of the Showbiz Challenge. I would say that Stephanie Davis, everybody, is Showbiz! <laughs>